Something weird happened a few years back and nobody reported on it. American Baptist Churches USA is a relatively large mainline Baptist denomination in the U.S. with the 2020 statistics showing that they have just short of 5,000 churches and 1.2 million members. They published this convenient summary of denominational statistics that's very transparent about what their membership is looking like any given year. Look at 2014, 1,198,000 members. 2015, 1,173,000 members. 2016, 1,159,000 members. 2017, 1,145,000 members. The trend is decline. They lost 25K in 2015, 14K in 2016, and 14K again in 2017. But now, let's look at the 2018 chart. 1,241,000 members. That's actually more members than they had in the oldest denominational chart on their website, the 2012 one, which shows 1,235,000. What good news, right? The American Baptist Church has gained back a decade of lost membership in just one year, over 96,000 new members for 2018. You might think that this is just a mistake or reporting anomaly for 2018, but the new members have hung around. In the 2019 report, the decline resumed with 21,000 members lost, taking them down to 1,220,000, and in 2020 they declined by 10k down to 1,250,000. Look at 2020, 1,210,000. Maybe some new churches joined the denomination, right? But notice that the reported number of churches is actually declining. Something can explain this, surely. Well, let's look at the reports between 2017 and 2018. What region experienced the most growth? Central Pacific Coast did grow from 13.6 thousand to 14.2. Connecticut went from 38.9K to 39.8K. Dakotas gained 100 members and District of Columbia stayed the same. This number here shows the number of churches reporting, which for DC was zero, so that explains no change in the numbers. Not every region grew though. Mid-America went from 18.7K to 17.2, and Nebraska from 7.9K to 7.4. In the end, almost all the growth came from one place, the first region on the list, Central Region. In 2015, they had 204 churches and 30.3K members, 122 churches reported data. In 2016, still 204 churches and 29.6K members, 121 churches reported data. In 2017, 203 churches and back up to 30.6K members, 103 churches reported data. Now, 2018. Churches fell to only 197 and only one church reported data, but boy did that one church's report make a difference. While losing six churches, they jumped by 86,000 members to have 117,163 members. This affects religion reporting. For example, Ryan Burge on Twitter in 2022 reported that the American Baptist churches are only down 23% from 1987 to 2020. Note the data points on other denominations. Assemblies of God mainly going up each year. United Methodists mainly going down. But American Baptists? Downward trend, and then boom, huge jump, and then resuming the trend. If the growth is somehow legitimate, certainly this is the story of the decade. A single region of a mainline denomination having massive growth in existing congregations should be the model for church growth experts everywhere. What's the answer? I don't believe the growth is real. Either the denomination had those members all along but didn't report them, perhaps due to a sudden change in methodology, or they didn't have them and are now mistakenly reporting them. Either way, their decline is being masked by this anomaly. I reached out to ABC USA via a contact form on their website on January 24, 2023, but as of the publication of this video, I've heard nothing back. In fact, I'm currently making a video where I need the accurate statistics for ABC USA, and that's the only reason I'm making this one. Perhaps with the right level of attention, American Baptist churches will tell us what's up, and we can figure out where the numbers should really be.